Okay, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our webinar, Innovative Communications, How PWT Built an Award-Winning Communication Center of Excellence. My name is Laura Conserata, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at DeFacto Technologies, and we're creators of the Sparrow Modern Workplace. Today, I'm thrilled to be joined by Pamela Deadmarsh and Amara Hansen from PWT. These ladies have done an amazing job in setting a new standard for communication excellence, and we're so grateful and really excited to have them uh, sharing their story with us today. Um, thank you again for joining us, and for now, I will hand things over to Pam and Amara. Thank you, Laura. So I'm Pamela Deadmarsh. I'm the Director for Pacific Western Transportation's Communication Center of Excellence. Today you'll hear me speaking as well as my colleague Amara Hansen, who is a Senior Communications Specialist with the CCOE. <clears throat> Throughout the presentation, we will refer to Pacific Western Transportation as PWT and the Communication Center of Excellence as the CCOE. Hi, I'm Mara here. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the agenda for today. We're going to speak about what the CCOE is and why we identified the need for it. We're going to talk about our objectives, outline our strategy, review the scope, and end with our results. And Pam is going to start us off next with the context section. All right, thank you, Amara. So I'm sure you're all joining us today wondering, what is the CCOE? So the vision here at the CCOE is to foster audience awareness and involvement through internal and external communications leadership, best practices, and support that aligns with the Pacific Western Group of Companies brand identities, safety vision, mission, core values, and strategic goals. And our mission here is to power communication strategies that support PWT's business objectives. We're responsible for the standardization, governance, and benchmarking of corporate-wide communications, as well as the production of content and messaging that is clear, consistent, timely, and relevant to a diverse set of audiences. And our goal at the CCOE is to increase the capacity of PWT to communicate in meaningful and strategic ways that support the objectives, reputation, and brand identity of each line of business or department. And we'll be going over those objectives later on in the presentation. So we needed a CCOE for a number of reasons, primarily because PWT has 16 unique subsidiaries with operations spread across Canada under four lines of business, which would be employee transportation, motor coach, student transportation, and transit. Over the past 60 years of operations, we've grown to become Canada's largest privately held people transportation company. Each day our operations transport thousands of students, commuters, travelers, and personnel in five Canadian provinces and territories. And while the CCOE is responsible for internal and external communications, the primary focus of our presentation this morning is going to be on the internal communication side. The scale and diversity of our operations posed a communications challenge for us. We needed to find a way to provide timely, relevant, and accessible communications to drivers and other frontline staff who make up the majority of our 5,000 plus employees while building a sense of community amongst our organizations. And I'm gonna have Amara go over our objectives. Thanks, Pam. So what did the CCOE set out to accomplish? We outlined five objectives for how the CCOE would operate, and they are as follows. One, implement and maintain a strategic communications plan. Two, set forth and govern communication standards and best practices. Three, produce a steady stream of content. Four, we would routinely measure and report. And five, we would stay informed of innovation and key trends. Next, I'm gonna talk about our, a little bit about our strategy. So what is our strategy? Uh, first, the CCOE follows a terms of reference, strategic communications plan, and operations specific policies and procedures. These documents set forth expectations, standards, and best practices for how the CCOE will operate and how, and how communications will be executed across PWT. Next, the foundation of our communications plan is the annual content calendars that the CCOE develops in collaboration with our various business lines and departments. These annual content calendars allow us to be proactive with our content creation and ensure that there is a steady stream of consistent, clear, timely, and relevant material to share with our target audiences. And finally, 
All of our communications initiatives, whether planned or unplanned, are tracked through a ticketing system to ensure that all requests are handled in a consistent and timely manner. Specifically, this ticketing system is utilized for reporting, task assignment, and metrics. Uh, next, we're going to talk, give you a rundown of what the CCOE is primarily responsible for. So first is content. So we are responsible for content creation. We collaborate with representatives across all of our divisions and departments to regularly produce and deliver content that is both planned and reactive. The CCOE is also responsible for social media in the content realm. We manage a total of 39 social media channels for all of our divisions across Canada. This includes 15 Facebook accounts, 8 Instagram accounts, 7 LinkedIn accounts, and 9 Twitter accounts. As you can see, we are very busy. Um, the second part of our scope is our creative services. So the CCOE functions as an internal marketing agency by providing in-house creative services, including but not limited to press releases with backgrounders, presentation decks, marketing materials, recruitment strategy and creative development, change management collateral, pre and post image and video production, content creation, templates, website design and improvements, and email campaigns, as well as blogs. Uh, and finally, in our scope, we have PR and crisis communications. So the CCOE provides media relations consultation and materials to support local level representatives. In the event of a crisis situation, the CCOE is on call to assist applicable local level crisis management personnel with mitigation and public relations support. I'm now going to uh, throw things over to Pam and she's going to talk about our employee engagement. Hey, thank you, Amara. So the CCOE supports PWT's critical performance indicator of communications engagement by helping to build a culture of engaged employees who work with a passion and feel an emotional connection to the company. In order to do this, we needed to find a new way to communicate with employees across Canada as the existing methods were inefficient and inconsistent as internal communications came second to executing day-to-day -day operations. Many of our locations were under-resourced in the communications realm, and this created an issue with a lack of clarity, consistency, timeliness, and relevance to the audience. Establishing the CCOE was a first step to standardizing internal communications across the organization, and the next was for us to find a user-friendly tool that would allow us to reach our 5,000 plus employees across Canada with ease. We identified that a mobile application would be the best way to achieve this. We needed an app that was user friendly for our diverse employee base, had a newsfeed style flow so that it was familiar to many of our users that are active on social media, allowed us to maintain consistent branding through white labeling, and provided in depth reporting capabilities. After an extensive search, we discovered Sparrow, and Sparrow checked all of the boxes for us. We were especially happy with the ability to be able to white label as we were able to create an app that we could call our own. We white labeled the Sparrow application to be PWT in Touch, which was actually the name of a print publication showcasing the people of PWT that was produced on an annual basis for a number of years. The PWT in Touch mobile application replaced this publication when it was launched in April of 2018. The InTouch app has kept staff across our subsidiaries up to date on company-wide news, safety and maintenance programs, and career advancement opportunities. Most importantly, it has allowed the CCOE to strengthen the sense of community across PWT by shining a spotlight on our exemplary people and the array of local initiatives we partake in. And so that is it uh, for our objectives and our scope. Are you all overwhelmed yet? <laughs> I'm gonna just move on to our results to kind of give you an idea by the numbers of how the CCOE has been successful. Uh, so we have experienced immense success in our first year and a half of operations. Since launching in January of 2018, we've seen an increase in overall awareness and engagement across our divisions and departments. I'll break it down for you by the numbers. Our InTouch app has an engagement rate of 40%. To date, we have posted over 900 articles on the app, and we've completed over 1,500 tickets. Within our first year of operation, we garnered the attention of the transit industry. We were awarded the 2018 Canadian Urban Transit Association Corporate Leadership Award in the category of Marketing and Communications. The CCOE is operated by a team of three communications 
professionals and is supported by our Vice President of HR Strategy and Business Development. The CCO team is incredibly grateful to have been given the opportunity to create a communication center of excellence for PWT as, like the employees we communicate to, we are able to work with a passion and feel an emotional connection to the company. We hope that this presentation has provided you with valuable insight into how we conceptualized, built, and rolled out the CCOE and how the Sparrow Internal Communications app continues to play an integral role in the success of our operation. So I'll pass things over to Laura for the question period. And so we have a question uh, for both of you that is, what is the ticket ticketing system being used to track? So the ticketing system is used almost like when you submit a ticket to an IT department. So if somebody would like uh, an article to be written for an in-touch post about a driver who received a commendation. They would send us an email and that would create a ticket in our system. So we're able to track all of the requests, assign it to who will be responsible for it, and then close that ticket to ensure we have accurate reporting. Question here from Marta, uh, and she wants to know, what are your favorite features? Oh, well, there's quite a few. I would say, I would say our favorite features of Sparrow is probably the read analysis that tells us where the average user stops reading so we can adjust our content accordingly. So if they're dropping off halfway through the article, then we know we need to put uh, the beef of the content towards the beginning. I also like that it tells us the average user word count drop off so we know how concise we need to keep our materials. Uh, we like the push notifications aspect as that keeps us top of mind. I do like that there's the mandatory versus optional channels. Uh, the survey function is very nice. That's a new feature that we really enjoy. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, white labeling is excellent. And I think the user friendliness from an audience perspective is wonderful, but it's also super easy for people who are running the application to do it. It doesn't need to be an IT person or a comms person to do it. Perfect, thank you. Okay, we've got a question as well from Lorena, and she asks, how do you set up your annual content calendar? Do you survey leaders about the content and announcements that are expected in the next calendar year? Yeah, so what we do is we send out an Excel template that our leaders across the organization complete. So they put on there as much as they know for what's gonna happen for the year, so we have at least planned content. There's a, a lot of reactive that we handle as well. We just send them this Excel document, they fill in the blanks for us, and then we upload them into Outlook. And we have a series, I think we're around 30 calendars right now. So uh, we just have all of those 30 calendars in our Outlook, and it's just fed by the Excel document that the leaders across the organization are completing for us. Perfect, I hope that answered Lorena's question. Uh, we've got another question here from Marta. And she wonders, what do you report on on a monthly basis? Okay, so on a monthly basis, we're putting together a report that talks about how many tickets we completed that month, our social engagement statistics, as well as our in-touch app engagement, which would be uh, users, posts, impressions, comments, reactions, complete reads, unique reads, and our most viewed posts per division. And those analytics are very easy for us to pull and put into the report that we send out, which goes back to the other question about what we enjoy most about the app. Perfect, yeah, easy to use analytics are the best. I've got a question here from Mike. And how do you manage app access as staff are recruited or leave the organization? So it depends on what type of user they are. We have ADS users, which would be our internal emails. So once that individual joins the organization, we are sent a list from IT for ADS users to get set up. Uh, but we actually don't even really need to do that because people can just log in through the uh, work email function. Uh, we just like to have it in the back end as well that they have access. And if it's someone with an external email address, we are sent a report from our HR group on a biweekly basis. And we're sending out invites to those users. And then we receive an offboarding report that indicates who's no longer with the organization and then we just disable their access. Perfect. And okay, we've got one more question here from Heather. She asks, 
Does PWT conduct an employee engagement or satisfaction survey? And if so, how has this addition impacted employee engagement results? We have that on our radar actually to be doing this year. So we've yet to do that. So I don't have uh, an answer as to the actual numbers and statistics about how the app has increased engagement. We are going to be conducting an employee engagement survey this year that's going to be very comprehensive that will give us answers on that. So feel free to shoot me an email or connect with me on LinkedIn and I can provide you with that data once we have it available. Perfect. Um, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone for coming out today. Uh, any questions that you have about Sparrow Modern Workplace and perhaps how it would help your organization do some of the great things that PWT has done for communications, uh, you can definitely check us out online at sparrowapp.io or welcome you to pop us an email or send us a phone call um, whenever you'd like. As well, uh, you can reach out to Pam and Amira. They have left their emails and phone numbers here as well. Um, and I'm sure they'll be happy to answer any other questions that you've got. Uh, Pam and Amara, thank you so much for coming on today. This has been really great. Um, and thank you everyone for joining us.